are you stuck trying to decide whether to use Robinhood or M1 Finance investing platform for your investments? In today's video, I go over the two different platforms uh, to compare and contrast both of them to help you decide which platform will be a great fit for you. Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Abdul. On this channel, I talk about investing, making money, saving money, and building your long-term wealth. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor, pause the video, go and smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of new videos that I post every single week. In today's video, the main objective is to compare Robinhood and M1 Finance. Both of them are different investment platforms that people are using and um, I know sometimes people are trying to decide which one will be the best fit for them. So in this video, I'm doing my best to explain uh, the differences and the commonalities between the two to help you make an informed decision. All right. In order to do so, I have put together a quick PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to get on the computer to go over that PowerPoint presentation right now. All right, let's get into it. So here we are on the PowerPoint, uh, as you guys can see on the screen, uh, we have Robinhood versus M1 Finance. So the first category that I'm comparing the two is the cost. Um, so with Robinhood and M1 Finance, both of them, they have zero trade commissions, okay? Meaning that you do not have to pay uh, to buy stocks or pay to sell stocks. Next up, we have the minimum requirements in order to open an account. And with Robinhood, there is a $0 minimum requirement to open an account. You can open an account uh, today, so far as you are in the US, and um, later on, you can fund the account. With M1 Finance, on the other hand, you do need to have $100 to open the regular account, and you will need $500 to open a retirement account. And then following that, we have the portfolio automation with Robinhood and M1 Finance. Both of them, they do offer the automated deposits. So if you are someone who's just in the beginning stages um, and you would like to start contributing to your account, your investment account on a consistent basis, both of them, they do offer those uh, automated deposits. So. You could decide what time time frame, either weekly, monthly, um, or quarterly. You can decide to automate however much you want to take from your bank account into your uh, investment account. So Robinhood and One Finance both offer that opportunity. As it relates to um, investment automation, Robinhood does not offer any investment automation, and M1 Finance does. And just to clarify, so investment automation is. If you already decided to pick a particular a basket of stocks um, that you want and um, you want to deposit your money in there and then next time they that you deposit more money into your account uh, with M1 Finance yeah their, their, their platform is smart enough to know that it to take the amount that you deposited and then it to automatically buy more of those uh, more shares of those stocks that you already have with uh, Robinhood, they do not have that and you will have to go in and manually decide to buy the stocks that you would want to buy. So if you already have particular stocks that you'd want to buy more of them, you could do that. With M1 Finance, you could turn that automated investment option off as well and then you deposit your money and then go in and buy the particular stocks that you would want to buy. Next up, we have retirement accounts. So Robinhood at the moment, they do not offer any retirement accounts such as uh, IRA or SEP accounts. And on the other hand, M1 Finance, they do offer retirement accounts. So if you are trying to invest for your uh, tr traditional IRA or Roth IRA or for 1Ks, you could do that on M1 Finance. Next, we have what are called expert pies. Um, and at the moment, Robinhood, they do not offer expert pies and M1 Finance does, okay? So, and what are expert pies to be exact? So, expert pies are basically just, it's kind of like um, a beginner's guide, okay? So, if you, are, if you are really new to the investment game, 
uh, M1 Finance, they have quote unquote experts that they put together and um, they put together a basket of um, investment that people in the beginning stages, they don't have to go in and dig into company uh, research, having to go over the numbers and figure out which particular companies are good for them. They will just kind of tell M1 Finance what their goals are. Let's say you want to uh, invest for the next, um, say, three to five years, they would have uh, a pie for that. If you want to invest for the next uh, 10 years, they would have a pie for that. And whatever your objectives are, they would have a pie for that. And that way you could just pick that. The, you just pick whatever their experts have put together, you pick that and then just start contributing to it and they will invest it in that for you. However, with Robinhood, since they do not have that, you will have to decide which particular companies you want to buy and then buy those companies yourself. Then we also have uh, crypto and options trading. That's the next category I have comparing the two. So with Robinhood at the moment, you can get crypto and options trading. You could do you could do both on, on Robinhood. Um, however, with uh, M1 Finance, they do not offer crypto and options trading. So if you are someone who is interested in possibly buying like the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, etc., you would be best suited to go with uh, Robinhood at the moment since M1 Finance, they do not have that at the moment. And we have overall display. This is a category uh, I made up. And in this particular case, to me, uh, I prefer the M1 Finance, the way they display, they visually display uh, information and data. I like that. Um, so in my opinion, uh, M1 Finance wins that for me. However, for some people, Robinhood, the way they display the information, they may like that. And in this particular video, I'm not trying to say which one is better than the other. It just depends upon your goal and what you are trying to accomplish. In my case, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I, was, I started doing the dividend investing challenge. And that was basically just the idea that every single week I was going to invest $100 of my own money into uh, growing a dividend in, uh, portfolio that would pay me dividends every single month. And I was gonna do that on Robinhood's platform, but I've decided to move that challenge to M1 Finance. Um, and the reason being that for what I'm trying to do, um, M1 Finance, it just makes sense for me. Um, if I were to boil it down, the overall uh, differences between Robinhood and M1 Finance, M1 Finance is more geared towards long-term investment, in my opinion, and then Robinhood is more geared towards people who are um, trying to trade on a consistent basis. So people who want to be going in every single day, um, buying and selling at whatever time they want to. I guess I should have added an additional category in terms of like uh, when you can trade, okay? So with Robinhood, you can trade at any time. With M1 Finance, they give you uh, two windows to trade. They give you two windows to trade in a day. So you have in the morning and um, in the afternoon, either to buy or sell your stocks with M1 Finance. But again, in my particular case, for what I'm trying to do, uh, that is a-okay with me. Uh, I don't need to be buying um, stocks every single second. Another reason why I'm switching over from Robinhood to M1 Finance is that apart from the display and just the overall uh, objective of what, I, what I'm trying to do, Another thing is just that I am hoping that this channel and these videos will inspire people uh, who are watching to also get into investing, um, to start saving their money, investing their money. And I, in my opinion, I think M1 Finance would be a good platform for someone in the beginning stages. And so again, if this video definitely inspires you, or encourages you to uh, start investing and I someone wants to use whatever platform that I'm using I think M1 Finance would be a great option so that's why I've decided to switch to that because I want to I guess have skin in the game to not just tell you that okay 
if you are in the beginning stages, you should use M1 Finance while I'm using Robinhood, you know? Let's keep the discussions going in the comments down below. Let me know which platform you are using and why you've decided to use that particular platform. With that said, do me a favor, like this video, uh, share it with your friends if you found any value in it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stop waiting, start doing, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace and love to all of you out there.